Terrace. Terrace is a fern considered a noxious weed because of its high growth rate and highly resilient character that is having a wide range of survival uh, range and also uh, by uh, synthesis of allelopathic chemicals they form monospecific strands. They do not, uh, these uh, allelopathic chemicals they uh, they reduce the survival rate of other plants that is growing near terrace. Hello friends, I am Dr. Ayantika Das and in this video I am going to discuss about reproduction and life cycle in terrace. Earlier I have made a video on the introductory video about terrace where I discussed the distributional range, the morphology, anatomy, economic and ecological importance and the fossil uh, forms close to terrace and link to that video I put in the description box. So let's start this video about reproduction and life cycle. Teres reproduces by spore that are born on the ventral surface of its uh, pinna. Now we know that uh, teres have a compound leaf, a, a pinnately compound leaf and each of these pinna when the plant becomes uh, reproductively mature, uh, each of these pinna, this is a pinna and this, this is how the sores are arranged on the marginal or submarginal region on the lower surface of the pinna. Note that they are uh, present marginally or submarginally and they form a continuous layer. This type of continuous layer is called sinosori because uh, here the sporangia they are arranged uh, in a compact form so that uh, we know that a mass of uh, sporangia together form a sorus but here they are so compactly arranged that the sorus loses identity and they form a continuous mass of sorus forming uh, called the sinosori. Now the sporangia or sorus it is protected by the marginal flap. This is the transverse section of the leaf uh, this one transverse section of the leaf and we see that the sor uh, sorus, a group of sporangia, they are born marginally, they are protected by the uh, inrolling of the uh, pinna lamina and this pinna lamina as they inroll, they form a pocket like structure and thus protected both from uh, mechanical injury as well as from uh, extra, um, uh, excessive heat. So, here we see a very uh, detailed diagram where each of the sporangia, they, we, we can see these are the hairs, these and this, these are the hairs. These uh, hairs are interspersed among the sporangia and they protect the sporangia. So, in uh, this type of sorus, sinosorus, young as well as old uh, sporangia, they uh, appear together. They uh, then they, they, there is a mixed type of uh, in sinosori there is a mixed type of sori the containing young it consists of a stalk very close to the we older see that this, uh, is a, this is the stalk region. So it is usually a three type to four of layer of cells, um, a row of cells in the stalk, and then we have this head. This is the head portion. And we see the head portion or the capsule portion has a um, outer jacket, single layer outer jacket and inner layer contains the sporogenous mass which later form the spore. About the outer jacket there are three type of cells. First one is that these thick walled uh, cells, layer of uh, a row of thick walled cells these are called annulus and they overarch the sporangia. We see that they overarch the sporangia. How they overarch the sporangia? Now, they do not completely form a complete ring around the sporangia. But they are interrupted by thin walled but equally elongated cells. These elongated thin walled cells, these, these, these cells, they are called the stromium. 
Apart from the annulus and the stromium, we see another type of cells. These cells, these cells, which are also thin-walled, but they are parenchymatous, not that much elongated. So these are the three type of cells in the sporangial wall, and uh, the annulus that is in the that is I have drawn in the red. This thickened, uh, thick, thick-walled annulus, they lose water, and once they lose water, uh, they are pushed uh, backward. They contract. They are pushed backward, and what happens is that uh, this uh, the stromial cells that I have draw, I will be showing in green. This uh, this stromial cells, they are very thin-walled, and they gape apart. So that the uh, these are the weak spots, they uh, gape apart and uh, causes dehiscence of the uh, sporangia. So sporangial dehiscence occur along uh, the in development along the there is uh, uh, thin wall development stromial with cells. a single initial cell, and this single initial cell undergoes a transverse division to form an outer and inner cell. Now the inner cell do not undergo any further division. Only this outer cell they form an apical cell and the stalk cell. Now stalk cells there that are formed they further uh, may divide or um, to form the stalk and this apical cell further divide to form jacket initials and archesporial cells. Now this jacket initial they form they further divide to form an a jacket layer, single layered of jacket uh, cells, unilayered jacket cells, and the archesporial cell. They further divide into two type of cells. That is the tapental cells and the sporogenous cells. So, uh, the function of these tapental cells is just uh, these tapental cells. They are just uh, a protective layer. They form this uh, this yellow color that I'm drawing. These are the tapental layer. They at first they were protective in function, but later they uh, disintegrate and add nutrition uh, for the growing sporogenous cells. So this entire two layers, this this outer outer and the inner they are the tapental layer which later disintegrate and form uh, the nutritive mass and uh, gradually this uh, sporogenous cells they form the spores these are the spores here these are the spore mother cells gradually the spore mother cells so the they form spores, spores they are homosporous that means that they have a single type of spore and the spores are trilead which means that they have a uh, tetrahedral structure that is uh, like this pyramid like structure tetrahedral structure and they have a triradiate ridge this is a ridge that is found on the outer surface of the spore and um, sp when the spore germinate this um, uh, the outer exine they um, split along the ridge this triradiate ridge so the spore is tetrahedral in shape has got a triradiate ridge and has got a very um, thick external exine and then intine so uh, if uh, the, this is the exine it is it is uh, much shows much reticulations and so if this is the exine that is thick and hard so the intine will be very thin intine will be thin and so uh, exine this uh, type of uh, reticulation that is found on the exine the yellow outer uh, much thicker region so that um, uh, the pattern of ridge it determines the subspecies or the species inside uh, in the ter uh, in the terrace fern so the every species has got a different indentations in the exine uh, 
and uh, this also help in uh, determining whether uh, they are uh, um, closely or di uh, distantly related so uh, what happens is that this uh, uh, during the when the spore for a days they fall and they get absorbed water and uh, this along the this uh, ridge only the exine ruptures and the intine it uh, comes uh, out in the form of a germ tube sporangial dehiscence in the dehiscence of the sporangia the annulus which are thick walled cells this uh, this layer this thick walled cells they lose water and they shrink as a result of which they create a tension and this tension due to this tension as they are very thick walled they do not itself um, uh, they do not uh, get uh, uh, separate from each other but they create a tension they create a pull and uh, so the thin walled uh, cells this these thin walled cells which are the stromium they they separate from each other the stromium that is stromial uh, stromal cell that is close to the annulus it is called the epistromium epistromium and this one very close to the stalk is the hypostromium so uh, the epistromium and hypostromium these two leaf cells they uh, did uh, they separate from each other and causes the dehiscence of the sporangium and thus the spores are liberated this is how they are liberated with a jerk and now we come to the germination so uh, the spores uh, once um, uh, the spores have a triradiate ridge and um, they dehisce along this ridge triradiate ridge the exine ruptures and the intine comes out in the form of a tube in the form of a germination tube and so gradually this germination tube undergoes division and this division they form a prothallial initial and a rhizoidal initial now this prothallial initial forms the prothallus which is uh, which is chordate dorsi ventrally flattened which means that uh, chordate means heart shaped and it is dorsi ventrally flattened that is flattened along the uh, uh, dorso ventral surface and it is aerial and which means it is terrestrial it is not under water and it is terrestrial and photosynthetic that is it is uh, it, it contains chlorophyll this chordate uh, gametophyte that it is the uh, it is a uh, photosynthetic and this is how pretty uh, the prothallial uh, initial form the prothallus and the rhizoidal initial they form rhizoid on the lower or the ventral surface so this is pre uh, pretty much how this uh, division uh, occurs so this is how uh, the gametophytes are formed and the gametophyte this is the uh, um, the mature prothallus where we see that uh, the prothallus in the central region that is in this region in the central region uh, is multiple layer thick it has got multiple layer of uh, parenchymatous region uh, if we see the transverse section we will see it like this so the center will contain multiple layer of uh, parenchymatous cells and as we go along the margin there will be very few even single layer of um, cell so uh, this uh, chordate uh, dorsoventrally flattened prothallus has uh, got an apical notch this is the apical notch region in the anterior region they have this apical notch that contains all the meristematic cells and in fact uh, when they mature the gametophyte mature all the female gametes are born very close to the apical region this apical uh, if you uh, observe very closely we see that these 
the i am encircling the female gametophyte of the archegonia in uh, green so the archegonia they are born on the apical region and the anthridia they are born along the with the along the rhizoids so on the lower surface we see that the reproductive organs that is female reproductive organ archegonia that have encircled in green and the male reproductive organ that is the anthridia that i have encircled in yellow uh, they are present and the lower surface also bears rhizoid that has multiple function that is of anchorage and as well as absorption of water and minerals so um this said uh, as this is a uh, homothallic plant that is uh, they both the um, archegonia and anthridia will be born on the same plant that is it is a monoecious uh, it is a homoth it is monoecious uh, all the opposite uh, reproductive organs will be born in the same thallus but not at the same time it will be uh, the um, archegonia uh, that is the fem uh, uh, female reproductive organ this one uh that is in the apical region it will be formed later first the uh, male reproductive organ will be formed that is this uh, in the central region the male reproductive organ will so be so the male reproductive first. organ and 3d uh, which is formed first so it um, begins with a single superficial cell here we see this is the anthridial initial and it divides transversely into upper and uh, lower cell so the upper cell again divide uh, the upper cell is uh, the lower cell is called the first uh, ring cell and the upper cell this one again divide to form the dome cell and the primary androgonial cell the dome cell again divide to form the cover cell and the second ring cell and then the primary androgonial cell undergoes repeated division to form androcytes actually 20 to 25 androcytes are formed and these androcytes uh they are the uh they are metamorphosed into this anthidium zoites so the female reproductive organ so, that is the archegonia that is formed uh, much later um than, than the male reproductive uh, organ that is the anthridia and 3d is formed much uh, earlier than the archegonia and so archegonia the female reproductive organ it uh, starts with a single archegonial initial that divide transversely to form the primary cover cell and the inner cell but uh, but in uh, archegonial development the inner cell divide inner cell divides further to form a central cell and a basal cell so the central cell again divide to form the primary neck cell and the ventral cell so the neck they form the neck cells and the ventral cells later the ventral a uh, ventral cell here they divide to form the ventral canal cell and the egg cell so uh, we see that uh, this um, mature archegonia they have 4 to 5 neck canal cell which later uh, as the uh, uh, egg matures this neck canal cell and the ventral canal cell they uh, they disintegrate and turn mucilaginous and this mucilaginous only contain mucin which is a chemo attractant for the sperm so this is how the this uh, figure then f about the fertilization the mature archegonia so, uh, um, when uh, the anthridia looks like anthridia is fully mature then the cover cells cover cell that is present it uh, all the cells actually absorbs water uh, the cover cell the ring cells they absorb water and they swell as a result of which a pressure is created and uh, this capsule it dehisces it dehisces so it looks like more or less like this so by this process uh 
the androcytes or the anthrozoites the anthrozoites they are liberated the uh, liberated by uh, the dehiscence of the capsule so once they are liberated they swim attracted by the chemoattractant that is a malic acid they swim to the and the, to the archegonia and they fertilize the egg after fertilization further zygote development occurs in the venter only the venter they uh, develop a special uh, protection coating called now, the calyptra now once the calyptra is formed um, the zygote undergoes division to form a apibasal segment and a hypobasal segment now this apibasal region they form the uh, the stem as well as the cotyledons so i'm drawing the apibasal region here this is the apibasal region which contains the stem and the leaf and i'm drawing the hypobasal region in green so this is the hypobasal region that contains the foot and the root this is the root cell and this one here is the foot cell so uh, this is how it looks the apibasal region and the hypobasal region and later on they undergo further division to form this type of structure and we see that the apibasal region it looks much more here this region the apibasal region has the stem tip as well as the first leaf and the hypobasal region here they form the foot and the root and ultimately after many division this type of this type of structure is formed that is the mature sporophyte is developed inside the uh, from the gametophyte it pierces actually uh, when um, up till uh, the um, uh, quite early stage it is inside the calyptra but at this stage that is the stage f uh, the leaf stem and the root por uh, portion they um, they pierce through the calyptra that is the protective coating of the vendor uh, they pierce to the calyptra and this type of structure about the life cycle formed of the uh, teres, sporophyte is the, developing um, life cycle from the begins with an adult plant uh, which is uh, this adult plant which is a uh, sporophyte that is on the leaf uh, on the margin of the leaf it bears uh, sorus which are collection of uh, sporangia that contain uh, spore and this is actually not the diagram of uh, terrace but a diagram of the general leptosporangiate ferns so uh, in the sporangia that is born or uh, marginally submarginally this is the sporangia contains spore so these spores after dehiscence they on getting suitable condition of moisture they germinate this is the spore germinating producing a chordate gametophyte so uh, the spores from the spore the gametophytic that is the haploid generation it starts uh, so the spores are the first uh, member of the haploid generation germinate to produce this gametophyte and this gametophyte it is monoecious which means that the same uh, gametophyte will contain male and female gametes the this this apical region will contain this apical region will contain the female gametophyte uh, the sorry the female sex organs and the female sex organs and this region near the uh, all the rhizoids they contain the male sex organ that is the archi uh, the anthridium so this this is the the uh, the anthridium uh, 
uh, where the sperms is produced, the anthrozoites are produced, and this is the archegonium where the egg cell is produced. So, uh, fertilization occur in presence of water, and this uh, the sperms they after liberation they swim to the archegonia attracted by the malic acid that is present in the mucin so uh, fertilization occur and so after fertilization uh, it again it is converted into a diploid plant so uh, the haploid generation it begins with the spore and ends with the gametes so gametes fuse to form the zygote which form the uh, the sporophyte and so uh, the diploid generation it begins with the zygote and it ends inside the sporangia that is uh, once the sporogena spore mother cell spore mother cell that is the spore mother cell is the last uh, diploid cell and uh, the spore mother cell undergoes reduction division to form the spores it undergoes a uh, division meiosis to form the spores now with this that i end my haploid video generation. i have um, uh, so this is the life the cycle. reproduction and the life cycle in this video earlier video i have made an introductory video about terrace I have also made other videos about uh, other uh, ferns that is Ligodium, Glycania, Adiantum um, and uh, also water ferns like uh, Salvinia, Marsilia and next I will be uh, making video on Alsophila that is also a fern but very exciting because it is a tree fern that is very high it has got a very high height and it is um, totally different from all the fern that I have been discussing so if you like my video do please share it with your friends and please do subscribe uh, because your subscription it encourages me and those who had already subscribed thanks for subscription if you uh, have any uh, comments please write it in the comment section feel free to write and if you want me to make any new video also please write in the comment section uh, because uh, now I am uh, uh, doing it in uh, doing the videos of uh, in the syllabus of uh, Veer Narmad South Gujarat University I am also following um, uh, Calcutta University as well as uh, Rahul Khand University, Vikram University uh, in case um, you, I haven't uh, made any video that is in your syllabus please do write it in the comment section thanks again for watching this video